All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to, to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone for teaching this truth, and salutations to the Akim across the world pushing this uh, this word and truth and in sincerity. Uh, basically, today we're going to get into a, a quick lesson about the, uh, talking on the fact that uh, it's time for our people to wake up, man. You know, it's time to come to the fact that you are the children of the people that the Most High made a covenant with, man. All right, you are the people that the Most High chose as his favorite on the planet, man, out of all the nations. All right, and there's there's 18, all right, and he and he, he made us lords over all of them, okay? He chose us to be the rulers over all of those other nations, man. All right, and, 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 and the fact that we're not ruling, all right, and the fact that we're not uh, uh, over all these nations, it merely goes back to the to, to the fact that we're not following and keeping the law, statutes, and commandments that he gave us. Okay? Alright, so when, when the men, when you see the men out on the highways and byways, and you know, the, the information that you see resonates with you, you know, it makes sense. You know, that's your time to come back to your, your culture, man. This is your culture. This is who you were before all these uh, uh, bywords. You know, all these proverbs and all the, 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 the names of reproach that, that, that was given, given unto us, man. This is who you were before that. All right? You know, you start with the, uh, <clears throat> the Isaiah 3, or I think it's Isaiah 1 and 3. God. This is Isaiah chapter 1, verse 3. It says, The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel doeth not know. My people do not consider. Exactly. You know, the ox... And the ass, two of the dumbest animals, you know, as far as intelligence. But they know who to go back to to eat. They know who to go back to uh, uh, for shelter. All right. They know who to uh, uh, go back to when called, man. All right. But it says in the scriptures that uh, uh, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, you don't even consider uh, 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 to the fact that, that your heavenly father or the creator, who everybody calls God, it, 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 he he picked you as his favorite people. And he and he, he made it... Uh, uh, he gave you law, statutes, and commandments that you should be following, you know? And he, he he's given us the time now, you know, through the men of the Lord, he's given us the time to come back to that, man, before he, he comes with uh, his punishment. Because like every father, man, he tells you something, and if you don't do it, he, he's going to whoop your ass, man. You know, and that's the times we're coming into, you know? God, this is uh, <clears throat> Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 22. It says, for my people is foolish. They have not known me. How you the way you don't know the Lord is because you don't follow his law, statutes, commandments. You know, you want to follow the ways of the world, which the Lord says uh uh, uh to come out of, man. You know what I'm saying? And it says, They are sodish children, that word sodish goes into stupid, man. You know what I'm saying? Because here it is the Lord uh, uh uh set up his prophets, which he gave his secrets so you can have the understanding, so you can come back to your heritage wholeheartedly. And know and know how to be a, a how an Israelite supposed to be, you know what I'm saying? And and yet, you know, our people still want to follow the ways of this world. It says, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Cause the only knowledge that you have to do is evil. You've been born and raised in uh, evil doing, man. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes down to things of righteous, the things of the light. You, you don't know those things, man, because of these uh, 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 Harley Houses churches, you know what I'm saying? They teach you that you can do whatever you want to without consequence, you know what I'm saying? And uh, those are the ways of evil, man, you know? That's right. <clears throat> God, this, uh, this is Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. Um, chapter 4, verse 6. It says, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. You know what I'm saying? You are destroyed mentally, physically. You know what I'm saying? Here you are, uh, worshiping the so-called white man. You know what I'm saying? Esau, Edom and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Thinking he is a su superior race. You know what I'm saying? But when you see how he structures his society and stuff and see how it's falling down and there's no way for him to get back up, you still follow him, man. You know what I'm saying? And it says, uh, because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That thou should be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, and I, I will also forget thy children. You know what I'm saying? Because you're forgetting your ways, man. You know what I'm saying? You want to follow the ways of the heathen. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 follow this paganism, all these different holidays and stuff. The, uh, the different things that are created to keep you down, to keep you destroyed, man. You know what I'm saying? 
That's why the Lord is going to reject thee, because you rather follow darkness than light, man. You get Isaiah on 5 and 20. Trying, you know what I'm saying? That, you know, you got uh, children of light and children of dark. The children of light is going to come back to the law, statute, commandments. They're going to repent. Children of dark. Other uh, Negroes, Latinos, and Natives in confusion of faith who bloodline go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who are Israelites. The children of dark are going to follow the ways of the world. You know what I'm saying? Right. This is Isaiah chapter 5, <clears throat> verse 20. It says, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. Right. So the uh, 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 the ones that are, are, are rejected by the Lord, the two thirds and stuff, you know what I'm saying? They call uh, good. Uh, they call good evil. You know the 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 correct way of how you're supposed to live according to the scriptures. They call that evil. It's, or, or or it was uh, done by man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, it, it, you're right. You know what I'm saying? But the Lord had chose Israelite man. You know what I'm saying? You know. Keep going. That's right. Then it says that put darkness for light and light for darkness. Right. So they put uh, 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 darkness for light. You know what I'm saying? They think the whole. Uh, 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 Homosexuality is okay, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 adultery is okay, you know what I'm saying? Because according to Ecclesiastes 8 11, it says, Surely since the evil work is not executed speedily, uh, uh, therefore it's set in the sons of men to, uh, uh, to fully, set in, in the hearts. It's like, you get it, bro. It's like, you know, they, they, uh, uh, they choose uh, darkness over light, you know what I'm saying? Because they really think that this is that that's the law of the land, that everything's okay, you know? And since they're not getting punished right away and stuff, they continue to do so, like the brother finna get to the scripture. That's right. This is, uh, so lucky. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 11. It says, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Right. That's why, uh, uh that's why the, uh, the ass... And the uh, uh, and the um, and the ox know it know it's their owner, man. You know what I'm saying? Because they know what to come back to. But when it comes down to the uh, wicked Israelites and stuff, since they continue to uh, do things of the dark, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, things of the world and can't uh, 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 and not getting uh, uh, punished for it right away. You know what I'm saying? That's why they uh, don't come back to the heavenly Father because there's no chastening uh, uh, that they can recognize. To, to cause them to come back to the heavenly father you exactly know? and the time the time the grace period is coming to a close man because the lord is just like your parents man he's getting sick and tired of telling you to do something man you know so so he has to enact a a, a, a punishment man that's why the scripture says that a, most of you so-called negroes latinos and native americans you're gonna think this is a joke all right so that's why the lord said you're gonna learn uh death by pain all right you're gonna learn by pain and death and all the plagues that he's gonna send out man you know, this is uh, this is Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 6. It says, Thou hast forsaken me, saith, Yeh saith Yehowah. Thou art gone backward. Therefore will I stretch out my hand against thee and destroy thee. I am very, it says, I am weary with repenting. So the Lord is getting tired and fed up of telling you niggas to come back to these law, statutes, and commandments, man. All right. And including you ones in the, uh, 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 the other Israelite camps. All right. He's sick and tired of you telling it because you're supposed to be coming back to the correct doctrine. All right. Which the men of Great Mills don't have, man. All right. And anybody pushing that same doctrine, man. But you other niggas, you other Israelites that know you're Israelites but still want to, you know, go according to your uh, uh, doctrine. When it's not according to the law, statutes, and commandments or anything the Lord's High told us to do, you still a part of that too, man. He's getting, he's getting, it says he's getting weary with repenting, man. Then it says, and I will fan them what they fan in the gates of the land. I will bereave them of children. I will destroy my people since they return not from their ways. You know? So the Lord is going to end up, you know, at the end of the day, when all this comes to an end, you people, the Lord, the people that are not coming back to the law, statutes, and commandments, just like in the wilderness, you're going to be destroyed, man. Mm -hmm. You know? God, this is, uh, this is Titus chapter 1, verse 10. It says, for there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision. And that's talking about the other camps that the brother was talking about. You know what I'm saying? That's outside of Great Millstone and outside the uh, other camps that uh, uh, speak the same doctrine as Great Millstone. You know what I'm saying? You know? And it says, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. You know what I'm saying? Selling out, having that Judas, uh, 
uh, cashing in that Judas purse. You know what I'm saying? Uh, giving um, uh, wrong doctrines, not uh, teaching the name. You know what I'm saying? You know, because, uh, hey, guess what? According to, because uh, you're supposed to know the Lord had woke you up to this truth for you to guide the rest of Israel that's asleep. But for the fact that you did, uh, 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 send them in the wrong way, hey, guess what? This is uh, 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 17. It says, for the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh. And if it first began at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel? So the Lord is going to check us first because he was, uh, the Lord had gave us his secrets. We had the understanding. You know what I'm saying? The Lord had chose us to be the judges of Israel to give them the correct judgment. And yet if you're going off and giving the wrong doctrine, the Lord is going to check you first. Because yet you have known, man. You know what I'm saying? Like the scripture says in Revelations, he, 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 he wrote it for you to be cold, man. You know what I'm saying? Because for the fact that you had once learned this knowledge, you don't know, taste the, uh, 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 the, 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 the good fruit of treasure of Yehovah Shem you know what I'm saying, of this knowledge, but yet to uh, uh, turn back from it, hey, man, it's sin unto you, man. You know? Exactly. That's why the scriptures say that uh, to him that knoweth to do good and doeth the not, it is sin to him. Come, come, come. You know? Because you know the truth. You know, you 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 if you grew up and 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 learned under the out of one west man, so you you Nate Satan, you know, all the members of ISUK, you know the truth, man. So you're gonna be heavily uh, 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 tortured and tormented for uh, uh, leading our people astray, man. You know, this is uh this is Jeremiah chapter five verse twenty six. It says, "For among my people are found wicked men; they lay wait as he that set his snares." They set a trap. They catch men. All right, and you you're catching a lot of men in the in these snares and traps that you're you, that you're producing, man. Uh, uh, which is also known as false doctrine, man. You know, you're not telling our people the truth, Nate Satan. You going on uh, on these shows telling our people that there's not going to be a persecution, man. You know, when has there never been a, a persecution with our people, man, from these other nations? So you know, how can you say that? How can you say that you know uh, uh, nothing's going to happen to us because you're bought and sold? And you also fall under that same category of, of, of the Lord being weary with repenting amongst our people, man. He's weary of telling our people to come back to the straight way, man. You know, the people that don't know the truth and you Israelites that know the truth but don't teach the right doctrine, man. The same thing goes for you, you know. And then it's oh, man, a little bit more. It says, as a cage is full of birds, verse 27, as a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they are become great and wet, wax and rich. You know, that's talking about uh, that's talking about uh, you niggas, man, in other camps, man. Especially uh, IUIC. Yeah. You pay for your uh, breakdown, or you make people pay for breakdowns. All right, you 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 charge people to learn the truth, man. The 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 Lord said, as you freely learned, freely give, man. Why are you charging people for breakdowns, man? Why are you charging people for for uh, uh, things that shouldn't be uh, 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 charged, man? Why are you Why are you charging them for uh, 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 gatherings and to and to come into uh, different kinds of uh, 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 meetings and stuff like that and parties? You you charge them for everything, man. And that, and that's and that's not according to the scriptures, man. Right, as you uh, uh, get for gain for uh, uh, filthy lucre's sake, man, for money, man. You know, this is uh, Matthew's. You you ask more. Uh, nah, that was it. God, this is uh. <clears throat> uh This is Matthew's chapter 12, verse 30. It said, He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth abroad. You know what I'm saying? So the Lord, uh, uh, like the brother brought out, he said, uh, uh, the scripture says, uh, free, uh, freely given, freely give, man. You know what I'm saying? And you're not doing that. You're charging everybody for uh, garments, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, uh, for your services and stuff, you know? And, and guess what? You scattering, man, because that's not how Yahweh Shai did it. He ain't charged nobody. He said, uh, 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 the scripture, uh, Salaki, if I'm butchering it, but it's the scripture that says that uh, uh, if you have nothing, still come and buy, man. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, is that you charging everybody, hey, guess what? You scattering because you're not doing the things that Yahweh Shai has done, man. You know what I'm saying? You're doing a, a, another way, another path, man. You know, like a brother crept in uh, unawares, man. You know? Right. 
This is um this is uh, Amos chapter three verse I'm gonna start at one. It says, Hear this word that Yahweh has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth, mm -hmm. therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities. So for the ones that sold out and stuff, how much more you? You know, you was once of the circumcision. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to go back to uncircumcision, trying to teach other ones who's trying to learn circumcision, uncircumcision. You know what I'm saying? The, the, didn't the scripture in First Peter said that uh, how much more are you to get judged? You know what I'm saying? And it says, uh, uh, it says, can two walk together except they be agreed? Hey, yeah, how was shy? He never charged nobody for no breakdown. So why you, man? You know what I'm saying? That shows that you're not walking the same path, man. You know what I'm saying? Which means that you pardon the way. <clears throat> this is um it's like this uh this is Jeremiah chapter twenty three uh verse one it says Woe be unto unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, save you save the Lord. It says, therefore, thus saith the Lord God of Israel against the pastors that feed my people, ye have scattered my flock and driven them away. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not bringing the uh, Israelites uh, uh, closer to Yahweh Bashi Yashai. You're not helping them build the, uh, the right relationship and you're not helping them become the right teachers so they can also teach others, you know what I'm saying, that you may not get to, man. You know what I'm saying? And it says, um, it says, and have not visited them. It says, and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doing, saith the Lord. You know what I'm saying? So uh, 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 what you sow, you shall reap, man. So if you sow in wickedness, hey, guess what? You're going to receive wickedness, man. Everybody's going to get a reward, especially uh, the nation of Israel, man. You know what I'm saying? But if you do a wicked deeds, you're going to receive a wicked reward. But if you do righteous reward, you know, do a righteous uh, deed, then guess what? You're going to receive righteousness, man. You know what I'm saying? But you're not doing that, man. You're scattering abroad. You're not bringing the nation of Israel closer to the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? The only ones you're gathering is the rebellious, man, because you're rebellious. You know, the scripture says that uh, 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 a birds of the feather flock together, man. You know what I'm saying? And all you're doing is bringing in uh, 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 two-thirds, you know, rebellious people, people, lovers of this world, man. You know what I'm saying? And it says, uh, <clears throat> let's get to verse 11. It says, uh, actually, I'll start at verse 9. It says, uh, uh, it says, my heart within me is broken because of the prophets, all my bones shake. I am like a drunken man and like a man whom wine have overcome because the Lord and because the words of his holiness. For the land is full of adulterers. For because of swearing, the land mourneth. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the, the, the pleasant places of the wilderness are dried up, and their course is evil, and their force is not right. You know what I'm saying? And and part of that uh, is with some of you teachers, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Because you all uh, uh, give uh, 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 swamp water, man. You know what I'm saying? You know? Uh, verse 11, it says, For both prophet and priest are profane, yea, in my house have I found their wickedness, say if you help. You know what I'm saying? So the Lord has already knows knows about your wickedness, man. You know what I'm saying? It's only a matter of time because you got Jacob's trouble. You know what I'm saying? And most of you got most of you guys out there, even though you linked up with Esau Edom, hey, guess what? You still have the ability to tell the truth. You know what I'm saying? So he's gonna take you all down as well. And the Lord is gonna use them, you know what I'm saying, like it says in uh, uh, Revelation twelve and twelve, for you only have a short time. To uh, uh, repay back vengeance on you people, man. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Because what? Oh, you yes, keep on, keep on. Oh, well, yeah. You guys. I mean, this is the time that our people should be waking up, man. And 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 the Lord is seeing that you're scattering the sheep now that we're at the very end, man. You know, that's like a a, 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 a a there's a fire in a building, all right, and there's a there's a way out. And the the group of people that's in the building, they see the way out and they're heading towards it. But a nigga jumps in the way and it's like, nah, I know another way. Follow me. Follow me, and don't even and and, and, and he leads you into a, a trap. While the while on the other hand, that opening becomes blocked by a, a falling fire, a, a, 
a falling log or something from the the, 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 the debris or something. So now you can't get out. So that now that nigga just trapped you in the fire the fiery burning house for you to die, man. And that's and that's what you pastors and you you niggas that believe in the truth and call yourself Israelites. That's what you're doing to our people when you you come out with these perverse doctrines, man. All right, because our people, it's time for us people to wake up, man. Because if we're we're not waking up now, the Lord is gonna send terrible judgments on us, man. During uh, uh, Jacob's trouble, you know, our people should be uh, uh, learning about this stuff, uh, getting prepared mentally for this type of stuff. But they can't do that because you 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 uh, fictitious Israelite groups. You know, you're, you're disturbing, you're disturbing the spiritual connection and all the, the, the energy that the Lord is pouring on the earth and you're distorting it. You know, you're taking that energy, you're receiving it and you're distorting it. All right. That makes you a damn devil, man. That's why the scripture says year of your father, the devil. Mm -hmm. You know, this is um because because the Lord, the Lord, uh, uh, he wants his uh, he wants his people back now. He wants the, the remnant. OK, he's he, he, he's tired of seeing the wickedness of these heathens. All right, so he wants to put his people back on top. All right, but he can't do that because you're pe you're making our people worth nothing. All right, because they're being filled with with bullshit, man. Swamp water, as you say. Yeah, they are. Uh, uh, the Lord's gonna be able to do it, but like the brother said, the remnant's only gonna come. You know what I'm saying? But you are gonna have two thirds that's gonna flock towards you, man. You know what I'm saying? Because they still get to do the things that they grew up in. They don't want change, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Come on, this is uh this is Jeremiah chapter thirteen verse seven. It says, then I went to the Euphrates and digged and took the girdle from place where I had hid it. And behold, the girdle was married, was marred. It was profitable for nothing. Then the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, thus saith the Lord, after this manner will I mar the pride of Judah and the great pride of Jerusalem. This evil people which refuse to hear my words, which walk in the imagination of their heart and walk after other gods to serve them and to worship them shall even be as this girdle, which is good for nothing. You know, and that's what our people have become. And, our, and, our, and, and the Most High is tired of seeing this, man. He's tired of, tired of seeing his beauty. All right, the, 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 the people he chose to put his inheritance in, he's tired of seeing us uh, look that is good for nothing, man. You know, that's what Israel has become. And that's what you niggas in the other Israelite camps, that's what you're continuing to uh, uh, push upon our people, man. You're continuing to put, push distortion on their minds, man. You know? You know, uh, 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 hence keeping them uh, uh, good for nothing, man. All right, because with this knowledge, once we come back into this, this this is a a, a, a spiritual uh, or divine awakening, man. This is uh, this is raising your vibration on this knowledge, man. You know, this brings you out of that sunken place as spoken of in the scriptures. You know, God, this is um, oh, oh it's locked, yeah, a little bit more. It says, "For as the girdle cleaveth to the loins of a man." So have I caused to cleave unto me the whole house of Israel and the whole house of Judah, saith the Lord, that they might be unto me for a people and for a name and for a praise and for a glory, but they were not here. You know, the Lord is calling us back into that, man. He's calling us back into that glorious state we used to be in, man. You know, he wants to put us on top, man. That's the whole vibration coming out. It's all divine, man. The, the white man simultaneously having trouble with other nations. All right. His country is simultaneously crumbling. That's all being orchestrated by the Most High, man, because he's trying to fight for his people. You know, fight for the controversy of, 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 uh, of Zion, as it says in the scriptures, man. You know? That's all, yeah, that's all I If you have some kind, this is, uh, this is Isaiah chapter 45, verse 9. It says, Woe unto him that striveth with his maker. And that's exactly what you all are doing. You know what I'm saying? According to Isaiah 58 and 1, we was commanded to come out here and teach our people our trans their transgressions. You know what I'm saying? And turn back from their sins, and and uh, uh, we supposed to bring up uh, uh, children uh, of Israel meet me for repentance, man. You know what I'm saying? But you you're bringing up children me for the disobedience, man. You're not telling them to come to the right way, man. You know what I'm saying? You're teaching them to stay down. And it says um, it says uh, let the posture strive with the postures of the earth. Shall the clay say to him that fashion it, what makest thou? Or thy work, he have no hands. Woe unto him that saith unto his father, What begettest thou? Or to the woman, What hast thou brought forth? For which you all not doing your 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 due duty that the Lord had called you into this thing for. You know what I'm saying? That's what you're saying, man. You're pretty much through your actions. You're saying, well, Why you create me for this? You know what I'm saying? I want to do this instead. You know what I'm saying? That's why you're not doing the 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 correct duty that you're supposed to do. You know. 
and it says, um, it says, Thus saith the Lord, the Holy One of Israel and his Maker, ask me of these things to come concerning my sons and concerning the work of my hands, command, command ye me. Well, you know, that was the point earlier, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much you, you guys are, are, are want to uh, uh, do something outside the fashion that you was created for, man. You know what I'm saying? And you striving with your maker, man. Showing that you are prideful, man. And that's what the scripture says in Sirach, uh 12 and 10. You know what I'm saying? He that is prideful, uh, turn away from his maker, man. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Because if you all was humble, you all would still have the fear and would have uh, paid attention to the things that you would have been doing, man. You know what I'm saying? You would have repented, man. You know what I'm saying? That's right. This is um. This is Matthew chapter 12, verse 30. It says, He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth abroad. You know, and that's what you, you Israelite camps are doing, man. All right, the Lord is trying to collect his sheep. All right, the Lord is trying to uh, 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 replenish our nation. But you're scattering his his uh you're scattering what he's trying to do, man. You're scattering uh the people that he's trying to collect by distorting the truth uh, uh that's 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 supposed to be going into their mind, man, or into their heart, man. You you're 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 supposed to be you're supposed to be uh, uh, uh honestly feeding them this truth, man. So if you're not, man, that means you're uh, uh blaspheming the, the 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 Holy Spirit. You're doing what you want to do when it's telling you what to do already. You know you're a rebellious you're a rebellious children, man. You're a part of that. You're a part of that group, man. Because uh, anybody that's not rebellious is gonna do what's what's necessary, what's needed, all right, to get out of this place, man. Which is teach our people the correct doctrine, which is go out to the highways and byways, be in, instant in season, out of season, you know, and and and, and come back to our culture and heritage in the, in the most honest way, in the most uh, uh, factual. And, and, and real way, man, because if we come to, come back in a false way, that means the Lord is not dealing with us, man. Mm -hmm. And that's you niggas, man. The Lord is not dealing with you, uh, Nate Satan. You know, the Lord is not dealing with ISUPK. He's not dealing with nobody but Great Millstone and camps that teach the same doctrine, man. Mm -hmm. You know? God, this is uh, this rock or Ecclesiasticus in Apocrypha, chapter 5, starting at uh, uh, verse 2. It says, follow not thy own mind and thy strength to walk in the ways of thy heart. They're like uh, uh, Proverbs 3 and 5, you know, lean on, uh, lean not to thy own understanding, but trust in the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? So when you trust in the Lord, that means follow his ways, man, which was a commandment according to Deuteronomy 10 and 12, man. You know what I'm saying? Which makes us gods, man. You know what I'm saying? But when you want to follow the ways of thy own mind, which is of the weak nature, you know what I'm saying? Hey, guess what? That means that, uh, 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 that uh, uh, you you have that uh, uh, old 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 spirit of the world, you know, uh, um, uh, guiding you now, man. You know what I'm saying? Not the spirit of the truth, you know. And it says, uh, verse three, it says, and say not, who shall control me for my works? For the Lord will surely revenge thy prize. You know what I'm saying? So you thinking that you can just do whatever and stuff that the Lord is not gonna have a set recompense for the things of your actions, man. You know what I'm saying? And it says, uh, verse 4, it says, Say not, I have sinned, and what harm have happened unto me? For the Lord is long-suffering, he will in no wise let thee go. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, if you still continue to do wrongly, not to do what what's commanded of you, hey, guess what? The Lord, uh, according to um, Jeremiah 17 and 1, the Lord has a long list of other things that you do, man. You know what I'm saying? I'll grab it right quick. This, uh... This is Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 1. It says, the sin, the sin of Judah is written with a pen of iron and with the point of a diamond. It is graven upon the table of their heart and upon the horns of your altars. So everything that you do, the Lord is keeping count, man. You know what I'm saying? So if you still want to do ways of the wicked and stuff, which you more than likely are, hey, guess what? You know, the Lord got that down. You know what I'm saying? And he's going to have a recompense for you, man. You know, because like the scripture says in um, uh, Luke, uh, like it. Luke chapter 12, verse 47, it says, uh, I'm sorry, verse 46, 46. Uh, I'm sorry, verse 45. 
It says, uh, it's a lot here. Uh, yeah, verse 45, it says, But if that servant say in his heart, My Lord delayeth his coming, and shall begin to beat the men, servants, and maidens, and to eat and drink, and to be drunken, the Lord of that servant will come in a day when he looketh not for him, and at an hour when he is not aware, and will cut him in, in sunder, and will appoint him his portion with the unbelievers. You know what I'm saying? Because you have not been doing the things that you're supposed to do, man. You know what I'm saying? Here you are supposed to warn the people and stuff, and you're not warning them. And what you're not warning them of their e uh, evil deeds, guess what? That's still blood on your hands, man. You know what I'm saying? You're not doing no cleaning for your hands at all, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and it says, verse 47, it says, And the servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will shall be beaten with many stripes. So you have, uh, according to Sirach, the 35th chapter, the Lord had uh, 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 created uh, spirits for vengeance, man. You know what I'm saying? So, so uh, uh, like it says in Sirach, uh, I think, 19... In 23 or 23 and 19, the eyes of the Lord is 10,000 times brighter than the sun. You know what I'm saying? All your sins is within uh, within your heart, and he sees that, man. You know what I'm saying? So why are you thinking you hiding and you thinking you getting away? Guess what? The Lord is just uh, uh, building up your naughty list so he can uh, execute vengeance upon that, man. That's right. Because you're supposed to be... No, no, no. Oh, because Salaki, you... you, you, you um. You're you're supposed to be feeding the the Lord's sheep at this time, man. This is this is the time of the uh, uh, as it says in Baruch, we shall remember ourselves. We're rem remembering ourselves, man. And why are you uh, having our people remember and come back to more uh, 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 delusion, man? We're supposed to be coming back into the pure water, man, the pure uh, uh, lifestyle that we used to live before the uh, other nations conquered us, man. You know. But that just proves that you're in the congregation of the dead. You're a two-third just like the other two-thirds, man. Mm -hmm. Even though you know the truth. You're a high-level two-third, man. Mm -hmm. You know? And you're still going to get the same recompense uh, uh, as you other to you others uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that don't want to repent. All right? There's other men that's, that know this truth that's going to get the same judgment as you if you don't repent, man. All right? Because it, this this whole vibration of... Uh, of uh, uh, the Hebrew Israelites, it's not be, it's not a coincidence, man. Mm -hmm. It's all being simultaneously uh, orchestrated. It's divine, man. You know? But to you people, to you to, to you uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that don't want to hearken, and to you, you you men that are that know you're Israelites and don't want to push the right word and, and don't want to get over your pride of, 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 of basically you not knowing everything or as much as you think you know, you know? If you can't get over that pride and learn the real truth and come under real men, you know, amongst the uh, the body that Yahweh Shai and has set up on the earth, man, you're gonna be destroyed, man. It's not. It doesn't matter how many Passovers you celebrate, you know, how many people you marry. That's not gonna matter, man. The Lord's still gonna destroy you, as the brother just said, man. You should be accounted with the with the with the two thirds, man. You know, this is a uh, this is Jeremiah chapter thirteen, 